Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we are doing a sight reading challenge. So let's come to the piano and get started. Here is rhythm challenge card number one. Can you tell me what clef we're in? If you said bass clef, you're correct. And what about our time signature? If you said 4-4, four, four, you're correct. This top number tells us we'll have four beats per measure. So let's practice the rhythm of our melody once by tapping and counting the beat out loud. Can you count one, two, three, four and tap with me? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good job. Now, can you point to each note and tell me if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? Ready, go. The correct answer is start, repeat, skip up, skip up, repeat, skip down, skip down. Can you tell me what guide note we start on? If you said ground G, you're correct. Now, can you tell me the letter names of each note, starting with the first? If you said G, G, B, D, D, B, G, you're correct. Now what I'd like you to do is press pause and try to play this melody on the piano by yourself. You're going to be sight reading it. So instead of looking at your fingers, I'd like you to keep your eyes on the notes. Once you have placed finger five on ground G of your piano, remember since we're in bass clef, use your left hand. Try to play the notes and keep your eye on each note to see how it's moving. So press pause to do that on your own and then press play when you're ready to have me show you the correct answer. Since middle C is right here on my piano, I've got to come way down here to ground G. Using my left hand, this melody will sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's check out sight reading challenge card number two. You can see that once again we're in the bass clef. What's our time signature this time? That's right, it's three, four. So let's practice our rhythm once. We'll count three beats per measure this time. Can you remind me how many beats a half note gets? That's right, two beats. And what about a dotted half note? If you said three beats, you're correct. So on this note, count one, two, three for that one single note. I'll tap with you, tap the rhythm, and count out loud the beat. Ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Now, can you point to each note and tell me if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? Ready, go. Good, the correct answer is start, skip up, skip up, skip down, step down, repeat, step up, skip down. Can you tell me which guide note we start on this time? If you said bass C, you're correct. So left hand finger five, this time will be on bass C. That tells us we'll be in the C major pentascale. On your own, I'd like you to press pause and then try to play this melody. Once you think you've got it, you can press play again and check out me playing the correct answer for you. Here's middle C, so I'm going to come down here to bass C with my left hand finger five on bass C. Here's how this melody goes. C, E, G, E, D, D, E, C. 
Great, now let's check out Sight Reading Challenge Card number three. Here is Sight Reading Challenge Card number three. What do you notice about this one? Did you notice we're in treble clef this time? And we have a 4-4 time signature. Also, make sure you look out for these two eighth notes. Those will go faster than our quarter notes here. Let's practice speaking our rhythm once and counting the beat. We have four beats per measure, so we'll count one, two, three, four. When we get to the eighth notes, we'll say one, two, and three, four. Let's practice tapping the rhythm while we count the beat out loud. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Now, can you point to each note and tell me if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? Ready, go. The correct answer is start, step up, step up, step up, repeat, step down, step down. Now here we skip up, but it's a large skip. We skip over two notes. It's the interval of a fourth. So we skip up a fourth and then skip down a fifth. Now can you point and name the letter names of each note? Let's try it together. Say them at the same time as me. Ready, go. C, D, E, F, F, E, D, G, C. Great. Now I'd like you to press pause and try to play this rhythm two different times. The first time, can you play and name the letter names of each note? The second time, I'd like you to count the beat while you play. Press play when you're ready to hear me show you the correct answer. Okay, I'm going to show you both ways on the piano. First, here's what it would sound like with letter names. C, D, E, F, F, E, D, G, C. Now I'll show you one more time, this time counting the beat. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, now let's go on to the last sight reading challenge card. Here's sight reading challenge card number four. What can you tell me about this one? That's right, once again we're in treble clef and we have a three, four time signature. Can you tap and count the beat with me? Ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Now point and tell me if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating. Ready, go. The correct answer is start, step down, step down, step down, repeat, step up, repeat, step down. Now what guide note do we start on this time? If you said flag F, you're correct. Can you name the letters of each note for me? Ready, go. The correct answer is F, E, D, C, C, D, D, C. Now, I'd like you to press pause. You're going to place your right hand finger four on flag F. Play each note and say the letter names once, then I want you to play the melody again, this time counting the beat while you play. After you've tried it both ways, press play to watch me do the correct answer. All right, for this one, here's middle C, so I've got to come all the way up here to flag F with my finger four on F, and naming letter names, it would sound like this. F. E, D, C, C, D, D, C. And counting the beat, it would sound like this. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Great job today on the sight reading challenge cards. From our website, you can download these cards plus additional sight reading challenge cards for you to do on your own. Every day, try three cards so you can get really good at your sight reading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, kids, Mr. Hoffman asked me to give you one more sight reading challenge card. So here it is. Good luck. <laughs>